I don't get to cover them enough, but I love when there are Elgato Stream Deck updates because they usually do some really cool stuff with this technology that I have always felt there was a huge potential for, and today is no exception. Elgato has just released Stream Deck version 4.0, the SDK for developers, and a plug-in store, app store kind of thing, so you can get your own. Pretty excited. Let's check it out. I just realized I didn't leave myself any room on my Stream Deck here for us to actually play with. So, I have already updated to 4.0 as that was required for the Control Center support for the Elgato Keylight, which I just showed in a recent video. But there's a lot more behind the scenes that you might not initially notice, given that there's not a whole lot of other differences in the default kind of sections here. First and foremost, there are now developer documentation pages on the Elgato website, including a SDK and a whole breakout explanation of how to do everything to create your own plugins and do your own stuff with the Stream Deck, which is what people have been asking for forever. There's been a couple third-party attempts that honestly haven't been super easy to use or set up, and so this makes it super easy for you to figure out how to make your own plugins and your samples and stuff for the Stream Deck or the Stream Deck Mini, and they even have samples here. Now, if you're not a developer, then you just want to install some stuff. From that, uh, developers can actually register their plugins in the plugin store for Elgato, which you get via this More Actions button down here below all your categories. And here we have some default just sample stuff built in to kind of showcase what can be done. So you have a CPU usage indicator. Heck yeah. You have an analog clock. You have stream elements and... Uh, obs.live integration that you can implement into OBS Studio using the Stream Deck. You've got voice mods. You can change your voices in real time with a Stream Deck button. We're going to install that. That helps eliminate the need for some things like the GoXLR stuff. There's a game you can build into it. We'll check that out. Why not? The custom action. Oh, that's really cool. So it basically works across all of the buttons via profiles. All right, we'll check that one out too. You're seeing this in real time as I am. Yes, install profiles. And then there's also vMix integration, which I've been asking for forever. vMix is kind of a more of a higher-end video production broadcast streaming software like OBS and XSplit, but for more professional broadcasts, it costs quite a bit of money, but it's super powerful. And then Overstream, which is another service to add uh, on-screen indications and things like that to your live stream, and you can check that out as well. And you can sort alphabetically, most popular, recently updated, and search. Obviously, there's only the built-in Elgato ones, since it did literally just release, uh, but you will hopefully see a lot more added to this list soon. So this is the memory game. So I'm going to press one of the buttons on my stream deck here. All right, that was a picture of a monitor. And now I have to figure out Nope. 4K. That's really cool. Oh, hey, those match up. Nice. Hey, those match up. And these? Nope, it wasn't those, but those match up. Those match up. Those match up. Those match up, and those match up. Hey, look, I won. <laughs> That's really cool. They've got a whole game programmed in here. I wonder if it's different now. Hey, it is. So it just keeps randomizing it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to we're not going to do that right now. That was really cool though. So down here, you have different categories now that you have installed stuff. So custom just has the CPU usage indicator. Pretty basic, but again, people could program more advanced or more, you know, graphically interesting ones. Voice mod itself gets its own category for a few different things. So there's Yeah, let's do this. Push to voice changer. You don't have voice mod installed. Okay, so that's fair. You do have to actually install the core software. I'm not going to mess with that right now, but I will probably have a separate video on how to set that up in general because that's pretty sweet. And then same with Overstream. You need to have it installed and running. But you can do some pretty cool stuff here. Well, trying to install voice mod, screwed up my audio devices and botched the second half of my recording there. But it wants a reboot, which I can't do right now. So we'll have future tutorials on setting it up with voice mod and overstream and stream elements and things like that, uh, as I'm pretty excited for this. I know a lot of people have been requesting an SDK, a way to integrate more things, and this, I think, makes a really good improvement 
because it means the Stream Deck system gets to be modular. People who have a little bit more expertise than Elgato might with other software to integrate it can do so and develop it probably better than they could. And by being modular, you don't have to have anything that might be conflicting or the initial installation and the things it configures for you can be lighter and a lot of cool stuff. So there's already proof of concepts for resource modifiers, uh, games, integrations with other programs. Please someone get on Adobe API integration like with the palette gear. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'm excited. You don't get a whole lot of control over the device itself outside of building plugins for the specific software and Stream Deck stuff. Um, but you can do some of that with the Node third-party SDK, the Node Elgato Stream Deck thing. So theoretically, those two can play together. But yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm excited. I'm glad I got to check this out. Uh, links to information and stuff will be in the description below. As always, hit the like button. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more tech education. Go check out my video on the Elgato Keylight. If you haven't seen it already, I'm Vox, and I will see you next time.